going into rookie drafts and going into the NFL draft for Dynasty, I think there's a few sleepers that you can get in rookie drafts pretty late that could um, be really nice stashes and could make really nice contributions to your Dynasty roster. And those are Pat Fryermuth out of Penn State, Puka Williams out of Kansas, and Jalen Darden out of North Texas. Uh, Fryermuth is going, uh, he is ranked on Fantasy Pros 25th, so you can get him probably uh, early third round, although his stock is rising a little bit, it will depend on his landing spot. But I see him as a really nice possession tight end in the NFL, and he'll stick around because he is a solid blocker. I think that he has the potential to be uh, sort of like an early career Greg Olson, which would be really nice, especially with how bad tight end is in fantasy. And if you miss out on pits in your draft, Frymuth is a really nice tight end where I don't know if you want to start him right away, but I think it could be a, a solid starting fantasy football tight end. Puka Williams out of Kansas, he didn't play much last year. I don't. I think he only played a few games, but his uh, tape from the year before looks super nice. He reminds me a bit of Devin Singletary. He's not very big, but he's crazy elusive, and uh, he's really fast. And I think he's not going to be a three-down back, but I think where he's going, he's ranked 46 on Fantasy Pros for the Dynasty rookies. You can get him like late fourth, early fifth in your draft just as a stash. And if he gets an opportunity somewhere, I think it could be a really nice running back. Jalen Darden, ranked even lower down, 51st. He's a wide receiver out of North Texas, broke all kinds of records there. Crazy, crazy stats there. He's super, super elusive, really quick. The only thing is he's a little small and he's not uh, very good at contested catches, but I think if NFL offenses deploy him at less of like a traditional receiver role, but maybe uh, some sort of a slot receiver, uh, maybe get some end arounds, some back snaps, he could uh, be super productive just because he's so quick and so fast and he's super elusive and could be a nice uh, addition again in the late fifth round for your roster. So if you miss out on some of the top guys at the positions, these are a few sleepers you can get later on in your dynasty draft that could make an impact down the road.